John is an expert on genetic mapping. Isn't that right? Yes. I believe that not everyone understands genetic mapping, and I believe it is an important technology. Would you agree? Yeah. Perhaps you would like to explain it on the chalkboard for us. That would be a good idea. Hi, I'm Dr. John, and I'm here to tell you about genetic mapping. Up here, we have a model of a strand of DNA. On the DNA, there are different nucleotides. Every three nucleotides make up the genetic code for a different amino acid. During transcription, the nucleotides tell the ribosomes which amino acids to turn into proteins. A gene is the entire genetic map of the amino acids in a protein. Genetic mapping is trying to find out if different genes always have the same position relative to each other. So let's say this area up here is the gene for hair color, and this area down here is the gene for hair thickness. Genetic mapping would be trying to find out if they have the same position relative to each other almost every time. So if you successfully map this gene, you might find out that hair color is always above hair thickness. That is what genetic mapping is. And that's all for my presentation on genetic mapping. Oh, thank you very much, Dr. John. I believe we all found that very informative, and this is a very important new technology. But, um, what are the exact ramifications, or how will this be useful in modern medicine? I'll be doing a presentation on that soon. Well, I guess we'll be getting back to you. That's all for now.